Chapter Two of Dolly and I by Oliver Optic. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Victoria Alice Bell. Chapter Two. One day Flora Lee came to see Nellie Green and to spend the afternoon with her. It was in the month of November, and the weather was too cold to permit them to play in the garden, so they said they would have a good time in the house. Katie Green had to go away and could not play with them. Nellie was very sorry for this for she not only liked to have her sister with her but she also wanted the company of lady jane she told flora how sorry she was and they agreed that it was too bad katie had to go away for she was older than they and could help them a great deal in their plays besides they wanted one fine lady among the dollies for they had a certain play which required just such a person i wish i had brought miss dolly with me i guess she is fine enough said flora i wish you had replied nelly but as you have not we can't help it now i dare say miss fanny will do i'll tell you what you can do nelly what you can just ask kitty to lend you her dolly we won't hurt her a mite you know we will use her just as if she were made of glass nelly did not know what to say she did not like to ask kitty to let her play with lady jane for she knew how careful her sister was of her fine lady and she did not like to tell Flora her thoughts, lest she should think her sister was selfish. She did not like to have anyone think hard of her sister. "'We must have Lady Jane. I don't see how we can get along without her,' added Flora, a little puzzled by the silence of Nellie. "'I don't like to ask Katie,' said Nellie at last. "'Why not? She will let you have her. Of course she will let you have her,' added Flora warmly. I don't think she will. You know we might break her neck or lose off her legs or arms, or we might dirty her white silk dress. But we will be very careful. Let us go and ask her. It won't do any harm to ask her, you know. She can't do any more than refuse. Nellie did not like to be refused, and she tried to prevent Flora from going any farther in the matter. She was sorry to have it appear that her sister was selfish, and she thought more of this than she did of being refused. Flora said so much that at last she thought Katie might let her have the doll, and they ran downstairs to the sitting room to have the matter settled. "'Will you lend us your dolly, Katie?' asked Nellie, and the tones of her voice showed how doubtful she was of the result of the question. "'What dolly do you mean?' asked Katie. "'Your wax dolly, Lady Jane.' "'I am very sure I shall not,' replied Katie. "'We will be very careful of her,' added Flora. "'We won't let her be hurt a bit.' You may depend on that. I am not going to let you have my dolly to break and spoil. I am sure I shall not, said Katie, who even seemed to be angry because she was asked. But don't I say we won't hurt it a bit, continued Flora. And when you come over to my house, you shall have my dolly just as long as you want her, and her house too, and all the chairs and tables and things. I don't want them. Do please let us have Lady Jane, teased Nellie. We want her ever so much, and I know she won't get broken or dirty. Please lend her to us, Katie. I shan't do any such things, so it's no use to tease me. Why don't you play with your own dollies? I won't let Lady Jane. That's flat. Nellie felt so bad she could not help crying, not because she could not have the doll, but because her sister was so harsh and unkind. She would not have cared so much if Flora had not been there, for she did not like to have her see her sister behave in this manner. Poor Flora wanted to cry, too, when she saw how badly Nellie felt, but she tried to be brave and placed her arm round her friend's neck, as if to let her know that she would be kind to her. "'Come, Nellie, let's go upstairs again. We won't say anything more about it,' said Flora, and she led her out of the room. "'Now you won't like Katie after this,' replied Nellie. "'Oh, yes, I will.' Katie would have lent us the dolly. <laughs> Only Aunt Jane gave it to her, and she is afraid it will be broken.' If it hadn't been for this, she would have lent us Lady Jane. I know she would have, added Nellie, whipping away her tears. I dare say she would, but we won't think anything more about it. And when I come over again sometime, I will bring her something, just to show her that I don't feel hard towards her. What a dear, good girl you are, Flora. I was afraid you would hate her after what she said. Oh, dear, no. I should hope not. My mother tells me I must love those who don't do what I want them to do, and I try to do so, but it's very hard sometimes. I wish you had a wax doll, Nellie. You ought to have one. You are such a good girl and love your sister so much, even when she is not kind to you. I wish I had one. It would be so nice to have one like Lady Jane. I should be so happy. 
But then if only one of us could have one, I would rather Katie had it than have it myself. You are not a bit selfish, Nellie. Do you know what selfish means? I do. I guess I do. It means when you have an apple or any candy, to refuse to give a part to your sister. Yes, or to anybody that happens to be with you. Candy is good, but... Don't you like to see others eat it almost as well as you do to eat it yourself? Well, yes, I think I do. Then you know just what I mean. And I guess we'll play visiting now. So we will, and Miss Fanny shall be the great lady, and Dinah shall be her servant. Yes, and this shall be her house, said Nellie, as she placed Miss Fanny in a large armchair which they were to make believe was her elegant mansion. You shall stay here, and I will bring Miss Mary to visit Miss Fanny. Flora bounded over to the other side of the room which was supposed to be the home of the other dollies, and Miss Mary, in spite of her broken leg, was soon on her way to visit the fine lady. ding a ling ling said Flora, which meant that the caller had rung the bell, and Dinah appeared at the door. "'Is Miss Fanny at home?' asked Flora, speaking for the lady with the broken leg. "'No, ma'am, she is not,' replied Nellie, who had to speak for Dinah because, though her mouth was very large, she could not speak for herself. "'What an awful fib!' cried Flora. "'There she is! Don't I see her through the door?' "'But that's just the way some of the fine folks do,' replied Nellie, laughing at Flora's earnestness. "'It's an awful story, and I wouldn't say it even in fun.' Nellie said she would not say it again, only she wanted to have Miss Fanny do just as the big folks did. And so they played all afternoon, though Lady Jane did not honor them with her company. All the dollies paid lots of visits, and Flora went home. End of chapter 2